If you want to know how television is transmitted, this is the place to be, the BT Tower in the centre of London. All television broadcasters use it, be they cable, terrestrial or satellite. And I'm going to talk to a person who knows how it all works on the 29th floor. 29, please. Good grief! Look at this place! This is amazing! You must be Katie. Yep, How are you doing? How high are we now? We're too 29. high, aren't we? 29 floors. 29 floors! Why do we need to be 29 floors up? Well, we're transmitting using microwaves. Microwaves only go in straight lines. We don't want to be blocked by buildings or hills or anything. Now, let me just get this straight. We're not talking about the microwave in my kitchen, are we? No, microwaves in kitchens use very specific microwave frequency that agitates the water molecules. We've got different frequencies up here. OK, so how does the signal, the television signal from the broadcasters, get to this tower? Well, even before it leaves the broadcast studio, the um, TV picture has been converted into pulses of infrared light. The television picture is made up of pixels. The brightness of each pixel is converted into a sequence of on and off pulses. This digital signal is carried by infrared radiation along optical fibres from the broadcaster to the BT tower. Inside the tower, a special machine converts the infrared pulses to microwaves. These are sent up hollow tubes to the appropriate microwave dish. Technicians in the control room, which is more or less the heart of the tower, will then decide which programmes are going to be sent to where. And where are they sent? How do you get them to the rest of the country? Well, dishes like this are used to transmit the signals over to the next repeater stations. So microwaves only travel about 100 kilometres at a time, so if you want to go all the way up to Scotland, say, you've got to bounce the signal bit by bit. Microwaves, like light, only travel in straight lines, so their maximum range is only about 100 kilometres, because the Earth's curvature gets in the way. To transmit microwaves over long distances across country, repeater stations are used. Microwaves are received by one dish and retransmitted by another until they reach their target. When it reaches the, the next transmitter, the signal's converted into radio, so it's doing the next step up through the spectrum, and it's transmitted out to your telly, and you get the picture. So just you and all these dishes is all it takes to send all those pictures around the country? Me, all these dishes, and Alistair. Good grief! What are you doing up there? Hi, I'm checking the alignment of the dish. The alignment of the dish, what's that for? Well, we have to make sure the dishes uh, shoot line of sight straight towards each other. Do you suffer from vertigo? Uh, luckily not, no. And what about the fact that all these microwaves flying around, you might get fried? Ah, uh, well this one's turned off right now. We can't work in front of them if they're turned on. Alistair, thanks. Katie. We've covered the UK with our television mm -hmm. signals, but what about the rest of the world? Ah, to get to the rest of the world, we can't keep on hopping. What we do is send the signal down to Goon Hilly. Goon Hilly is in Cornwall. This map shows the route the signal takes as it's relayed between London and Goon Hilly. Goon Hilly, we've got huge dishes, and they transmit the signal off into space. We've got satellites up there that receive it, and we direct the beam back over, back wherever we want it. So you must be a pretty good shot to hit those satellites. You've got to be a good shot, you're going 15,000 kilometres. But even with the best controls we've got, we're still losing 99% of the signal. Wait a second, you're losing 99% of the signal? Mm-hmm. This is very important. If 99% of the signal is lost, that means there's a very good chance that alien life forms out there somewhere are receiving the rest of it. Imagine that. Aliens watching reruns of I Love Lucy. Bill and Ben, the flowerpot men. The news read by men in black suits and bow ties. 